If you're looking for a guide to get the M4 gold, look no further. If you want to see any other gold guides I've created, click the card on the top right of the screen and it'll show a playlist of all the other ones I've done, but onto the video. Like every gun in Modern Warfare, there's 10 different categories of challenges you have to do and 10 in each, so it's 100 you have to do, but some of them are passive and just leveling up the gun will eventually get it along the way. I'll be leaving timestamps down in the description. If you've already done a camo and you want to skip over that, go ahead and pick the times down there. You can also notice it on the timeline as you scroll across, I'll show the name above. Spray paint, for example, you have to get 800 kills, and I'd say that's pretty much a passive one because as you're leveling up the gun, you're going to get kills. You can do any game mode for this, and any old kill will work. Doesn't matter the attachments or anything, something like this will do, just to get a kill. Then we have Woodland, you have to get 125 headshots, you can do this in any game mode, but if you want, you could also do this in hardcore game mode if you like to do that, but the M4 is already crazy enough, it's good just how it is in casual games. Something like this will do, just get a headshot. It'll pop up a little points, get 110. There you go. Then we have Digital. Digital, you have to get 160 crouch kills. Again, this can work in any game mode. All you have to do is crouch down, get a kill. You can use any attachments you want. Something like this will do. Crouch down, get a kill. Then we have Dragon. For Dragon, you have to get 75 hipfire kills. Just don't ADS. And this is the gun setup I have set up for the class. I use the M16 grenade to get the range case are far away. 5 milliwatt laser so you can get better hitfire accuracy. Merc 4 grip, again for the hitfire accuracy. 50 round mag so you can keep firing. Then a stippled grip tape so you can fire faster after sprinting as there's a delay but this shortens it. All you have to do is get a hitfire. I guess. Then you have to do splinter. Splinter is 100 long shots. Best game mode for this would be ground war. There are spots where you can get long shots in core maps but Ground War is a better and safer way to get it. This is what I use for my gun setup, the monolithic suppressor for better range, M16 grenade, so you can get better range as well. The variable zoom, this is preference. Any optic you like, I just personally like this one, I'll use it. Command of foregrip, so I can have less recoil. And then a 50 round mag, so don't have to reload as often. Keep shooting. As you get a long shot kill, you'll get points for it, and it'll tell you the distance. Then next is topo, you have to get 100 mounted kills. This can be done in any game mode, but again, safer to do would be in ground war, because in the core game modes they can spawn behind you, that can get quite annoying, especially if you're trying to be mounted and wait for someone to come by. As long as you mount, kill someone, it works. Then we have Tiger. For Tiger, you have to get 180 kills with 5 different attachments. This game mode is going to work in anything you like, I just use this for ground war. And then this is the setup I use, the M16 grenade for better range, no stock, so it's just quicker around in ADS and Commander 4 grip so you don't have as much recoil, but it doesn't take away from the ADS speed. 50 round max, you can keep shooting in a stipple grip tape so that you can go from sprint to fire faster. So, any kill will work. We have five attachments, it works. Then we have stripes. For stripes, you have to get 50 kills after reloading. There's a little two second window after you reload, it will count that kill. Because you can better prepare and put yourself in a situation. So you see someone around a corner, go ahead and shoot one bullet, reload, and peek that corner within two seconds, you gotta get that kill. If you do, it counts. So something like this will work. Gotta reload, get the kill. The only thing that would really help for this would be sleight of hand, and then you could use any other attachments you'd like. Then we have Reptile, you have to get 110 kills with no attachments. Normally I would say you go into a hardcore game mode, but the M4 is already a meta weapon. It's, all right, it's crazy man, as long as you have no attachments, it'll count. Something like that will do, just no attachments. Then we have Skulls. For Skulls you have to get 3 gun kill streaks in a row. That's not saying triple kills, but you just have to get 3 kills, and then it also adds up. So say you get 6 kills, it counts as 2. Also, dying resets. One kill, two kill, and three kills. That counts as one. Yeah, it's the end of the video. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you did not dislike, any kind of feedback is always good. And go ahead and leave something in the comments if I missed anything, or if there's any updates that may have changed these. Go ahead and help someone out if they ever end up reading the comments. Subscribe if you want more guides about Modern Warfare. And yeah, have a good one. Keep ducking in puppy, you know you was front you plundered the game So now we back, we take an aim, the lane has changed You lames the same, you blame the fame, complain but play the same It's the same shit, the same tame for fame Shit, forgot about why you did it, shit, or who you even came with So play me all your lame hits, fiction, top the playlist Can't believe we finally made it, not bad for